like this one. Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do a Diwali money, prosperity, abundance, wealth, attraction spell or ritual, whatever you want to call it. Diwali is actually Saturday, November 14th where I am at and this is something that I wanted to show you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, Diwali is a festival of lights. It's the day that you can work with and worship Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi. Ganesha opens the roads. He's the god of wealth, success, removing obstacles. Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and beauty and prosperity. So this is something that I'm going to be doing the days leading up to Diwali and I wanted to share with you guys this one that I did and I wanted to share with you guys how I do it, how I put it together and what I do. So I'm going to be working this on my altar and let, let me show you guys how to make this. I'm going to be using a lot of ingredients, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be using a lot of ingredients because that's how I work. But I do want to say that you can choose like one ingredient from everything that I'm using or just a few or pick, you know, which ones you want or just pick which ones you have on hand. You don't need each and every single one of these, but if you combine all of these together, it's very potent and very, very powerful, but you don't need all of these things, okay? Just wanna say that. So say you have one ingredient out of everything I'm mentioning, just use that one ingredient on your candle. Okay, so starting off, the first thing you want to do is take some sage or some incense or like a cleansing spray, something to cleanse your ingredients and whatever crystals you're going to be using, everything you're going to be using, you're going to want to cleanse it all. So that means your candle, your tray that you're going to be working on because you don't know who touched it, you don't know what their energy was like, all your ingredients. You just want to kind of cleanse it. So I'm just going to kind of go over all my ingredients over here. And now that that's done, since this is a Diwali ritual, um, I want to incorporate a lot of the Hindu gods and goddesses into my ritual. So for protection of my ritual, I'm going to be using my Gali spray and spray that all over all of my ingredients and myself. And if you guys are interested in this Gali spray, let me know and I could bring it back in stock in my Etsy shop. Um, I used to make a lot of sprays and if you guys are interested in like room sprays like that because I charge them myself on my altar and with monthers and stuff so if you guys are interested let me know in the comments or message me so I know how many people are interested but anyways now that that is done this is optional this is up to you um, you can carve your name and your birth date onto the candles so I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm just using a thumbtacks. You can use any kind of needle or sharp object. Carve your full name and your birth date. And then you want to carve symbols, okay, uh, and words that you want to attract. So money, right? Whenever I uh, put the money sign, I always put it in fours. So we want to draw that in from all different directions, all four directions. And then we put the word money, prosperity, abundance, success. And with that, you guys, don't forget joy. You can have all that stuff and just be miserable. So don't forget joy. <laughs> all right, so that's done. The candle's done. Now what I'm gonna do with the candle next is I'm actually going to use my money oil on it, okay? So this is my money oil right here. I've had this for about six years, it's charging in this bottle. I worked this bottle so many, so many times. And if you guys buy my money oil, you get a little bit of my batch in there. So if you guys are interested, that's in my Etsy shop. But any oil, if you don't have money oil, Use olive oil, coconut oil, some kind of oil, and then you want to infuse it with your energy, your intention. As you rub it, you want to speak what you're attracting, and you just rub that onto your candle. Okay, so now that that's done, I always like to rub the rest like all over my hands. And then we're gonna work on our brown paper bags. I actually have three over here because I'm doing two for 
to other people. So I'm gonna use this as an example for you guys. Okay, so you're gonna need a Sharpie and here's what you're gonna do. You're going to write your name, your full name in the middle of the paper, okay? And this is a brown paper bag. This is a grocery bag that I just cut up into a square. Okay, so what you wanna do is write your full name. in the middle, okay? And then you want to write your date of birth right underneath that, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is around all four corners of your name, you want to do the money sign. From all different directions, you wanna open up streams of money to come to you, okay? You wanna open the roads. Now, the next thing you want to do is all around here, you're gonna write an intention, affirmation, anything that you want to attract money. So for me, I would just write abundance, money, prosperity, um, wealth, joy, success, and then I'll do some money signs. I think I'm gonna write happiness because we do want to have that energy. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna have four more money signs. So like, just go with your spirit or just, you know, really think it out, whatever, whatever way feels right to you. The next thing you're going to do is take your money oil. You can make your own, you could just use olive oil, but you do want to put your intention and stuff into it. And I like to put it on all four corners. And then you're gonna bring your tray in. So I like to work in like these little foil tins. I got this from the 99 cent store. It was like three, four uh, dollar. And so it's really nice. It's You can just throw the whole thing away when you're done. So the next thing you want to do is put your uh, paper into your foil pan. Then you're going to take this candle and you're going to burn the bottom of it so that you can stand this up on the brown paper. So I'm gonna burn the wax a little bit and then I'm just gonna stand that up right there. Wait for the wax to cool down so that it stands right there. And another thing you could do is add a little bit of your hair onto the candle because there is oil on the candle. Um, the hair should stick a little bit at least. And so now that that is done, what you're going to do is add your herbs. So, the first herb that I wanna say you wanna add is peppermint. Okay, you wanna put your intention into the peppermint first, and then you wanna sprinkle that all around in a circle. This opens the road to money. Now, if you have money powder or money herb blend, um, you can use that. So I'm using my own personal money powder, which you guys can get on my Etsy shop if you want. This is my own personal blend and I also um, infuse this with the Lakshmi Mantra. So you wanna put that all around. The next thing you want to use is fenugreek. You want to sprinkle that all around. You want to actually put your intention into it first. But my herbs are all usually blessed. They're, they're all in my working room and I always have um, it charging constantly. So the next thing you're going to need is catnip. Catnip draws money to you. Fenugreek is very strong in attracting money. Um, and then, next thing I have here is bay leaf powder. You can use crushed up bay leaves. You could like use broken bay leaves. I'm gonna use bay leaf powder. It's very strong in attracting prosperity, luck, um, a lot of fortune, good fortune. The next thing I'm going to sprinkle is patchouli. Patchouli is a really good herb for drawing in money, attracting money. It, it allures money, it, it entices money towards you. It's very charming for money energy. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to use is ground cinnamon, or you could use a crushed up cinnamon stick, uh, whatever you have on hand. So what I'm gonna do is sprinkle that around my entire 
bowl and on my candle and on the paper. Um, cinnamon is very good at attracting things very, very quickly, very, very fast. And it also adds protection to whatever you're attracting. Okay, so now that we're done with everything that I'm going to be putting in here herb-wise, I'm gonna use my money rice. So, okay, this right here is my personal money rice. You guys can get this on my Etsy shop. I charged this with the Lakshmi Mantra. Um, and if you're interested, you can get mine or you can make your own or you can just use plain rice, okay? So it, it doesn't ma really matter, but like, I mean, mines are supercharged and the more you work on it, the, the more the energy is better. So mine, I'm just gonna put here, but you can also use plain rice if that's all you have, okay? So your plate should be looking something like this. The last thing I'm gonna do is use some rose petals. So I have here some rose petals that my boyfriend gave me for my birthday, and I, I always dry them out and keep them because this is the energy of somebody giving me something. They thought of me, they spent their money on me, they gave me something. So that's an energy right there. If you get what I'm saying, that's an energy that we are also incorporating into our spell. So I'm just going to sprinkle that all over my plate. Now, you want to get out your crystals, whatever crystals that you resonate with when it comes to money. For me, I'm going to be using a Labradorite. If you guys have been following me on my channel, you know this is my favorite crystal of all time. And then I have Citrine. Citrine is the crystal of money, wealth, success, happiness, joy. Um, and uh, Labradorite is the crystal of magic, synchronicity. It brings, it shifts energy, starts to shift things in your favor so that you get what you want. I love this crystal. So, okay, after that is done, you take this to your altar or somewhere where it's not gonna be disturbed, but you do not wanna leave it unattended because you have herbs around it and you light it. And the first time that you light it like this, you wanna put your hands around it for a little bit and speak your intention into it. Tell the herbs, tell the rice, tell the crystals, tell the paper, tell all these elements, tell all of these ingredients what they're doing. They're there, they're vibrating. You need to speak to it and tell them what they're doing. So um, tell them what their job is. So uh, I'm abundant, I'm successful. You brought me success, you're bringing me money, you're bringing me prosperity, happiness, joy, freedom. Like. For me, money buys freedom for me. Um, so like I have the freedom of time, I have the freedom to, you know, freedom to work my schedule the way I need to. Like it's just freedom for me. So whatever money is to you, speak that, like talk to this. Um, and then when you're done, kind of just let it burn out. Again, don't leave it unattended. And after it's burnt down, what you wanna do is keep these crystals near your, your purse, your wallet, your money, your credit cards, um, or you can put it on your altar. Um, and then the rest of the stuff you can just throw away. Or, it, I mean, you could sprinkle these in your front yard. Don't bury it. I don't recommend burying money work. I mean, unless you resonate with it. But for me, like, it just means I'm putting my money on hold because I'm burying it in the ground. You know what I'm saying? So. For me, it's just, I don't resonate with it, but do what your spirit tells you. And that is how I do this really beautiful Diwali money attraction spell. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a lot of fun this Diwali and this new moon. Um, again, remember, you don't need all these ingredients. You can just use whatever you have or whatever you feel like using. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below what rituals you did. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in some of these ingredients, I do have it up in my shop. Uh, and I hope you guys have a really great Diwali. Bye.